Hello my soccer universe, finally I'm getting to talk about the uh, qualifying and the draw of the Europa and the Europa Conference League. Uh, to be honest, I really meant to do a video just on the qualifying, but just the preparations for it uh, took me so long that yeah, it was already the draws and then I said, okay, I may as well uh, do the analysis and some of the draw as well and pack it into one big video. Um, so yeah. That's the first part of housekeeping. The second one is it was a I actually had my girls decide here on the background. And as you will see in the closing shot, this is basically based on the probabilities just before the draw. And I'm wearing Arsenal. I was a little bit split because I usually try to, especially for the closing shot, I try to wear for the European stages the a shirt of a team that I support, which in this case would be Roma. However, putting Arsenal up there, um, you know, move United over, take Roma down, then it's too much red up there. So we decided let's put a black Roma jersey and I'm wearing Arsenal because, you know, it's a nice shirt and they are, as we will see, the top favorites uh, at this moment in the Europa League. And in the Europa Conference League, there's this little yellow team up there that is very, very heavily favored. So what we're going to do is we're going to first, we start in the Europa League, we go through the qualifying matches and then the composition of the uh, pots there. Then we talk about the Europa League draw and a little bit uh, look at that draw. And then we do the same thing for the Conference League as well. And I would say we'll start right at qualifying. I did not see any of these games because uh, Fenerbahce against Austria uh, Wien, uh, that was the one that I probably could have seen if the Turkish um, rights horse wouldn't demand so much money from the Austrian te te television that they are not willing to pay. Anyway, it was not worthwhile because it was a 4-1 destruction by Fenerbahce in a game that was already done. And Fenerbahce from what I hear only second gear at most. Um, it was a good day for Cypriot teams because Larnaca qualified over Dnipro, we see Omonia over Hent. Um, I was very surprised to see Helsinki get in, uh, H HJK is, Hel is Helsinki and Ludogorets needing overtime against Jalgiris. They were three times down and then uh, they always could equalize. Uh, on the second page, uh, we have Sheriff getting uh, in over Punic on a really horrible penalty shoot. You see all the misses there. Um, Malmö taking care of Sivospor and Zurich also can win against Hearts. That is a, a pretty big one. And then Olympiakos also in another really bad sh shooter, at least they uh, um, win. They are, I think, the only Greek team in the group stage, which has a really, really, really bad track record for them. And then Shamrock over Ferenc Varos, that was anyway a foregone conclusion. And so we had the following pots that I just leave up there. I have to say, I mean, Europa League, it's quite uh, noticeable. And uh, the one thing is the PSV is probably the third or uh, fourth best rated team there in pot two. So we had up there, of course, Roma as the conference league leader, then United, Arsenal, Lazio in, in there, and then Praga, Chevenas, Vesta, Dinamo, Kiev, and the Olympiakos, just me, uh, more or less on merit. Whereas in pot two, then Feyenoord, PSV, uh, Stad Rennes, Monaco, and Real Sociedad, also really, really strong. We had in pot three, we had Betis and Union Berlin and Freiburg, so also a uh, big five um, league teams in there as well as Sheriff and Bodo Klimt, the Darlings from last season uh, and a fan of budget team that's really really dangerous and then uh, in pot 4 not yes a French team maybe not the best one and then um, you know from Austrian perspective Sturm Graz only made in the fourth pot which was to be expected but also Union saint gilloise from Belgium was in there and Turkish champions Traps on Sport so a rather rather interesting draw which we will talk about <laughs> on the next slide. And here is the draw, uh, and I've of course switched wardrobe and everything to just reflect that as well. Um, group A, Arsenal, PSV, Bode and Zurich. Arsenal, PSV, those are two top teams that are put the strongest team from pot one and the strongest team from pot two and the team that actually, if it would go by just the rating, would easily walk into pot one. So a really, really tough draw for Bode and Zurich. Uh, Group B with Dinamo Kiev, Stadren, Fenerbahce and Lanaka. I think it's rather interesting. Um, nominally, uh, Ren would be favored, but you know, Dinamo Kiev, Fenerbahce they already played in the Champions League qualification against each other. So that's an interesting one. I think Roma got a nice group, but Betis will 
will give them definitely a challenge. Ludogorens and Helsinki should be clear second and uh, third and fourth. Uh, group D is a very even group that I think Union will really like their chances in. And you see already they have moved up <laughs> here on the background, or maybe you don't see. Um, group uh, E, United and Real Sociedad, you remember a meeting two years, two seasons ago. Um, should be the favorites and with Sheriff and Momoni and there. Then Group F, a very, very even group with Lazio, Fein, and Midtjylland and Sturm Graz. Uh, yeah, this... I'm not saying it's Champions League quality, but you know, let's say a few year, years ago, this could have been a Champions League group uh, as well. Uh, group G is... Pots three and four, you would think a uh, favorite of pots one and two here. Well, don't uh, discount Olympiakos and Karabakh. And almost a similar story can be said of Group H, although I think it's uh, Ferenc Varos who would go down. Trabzonspor, Javena Svestar, that should be rather even. So, after these feelings uh, of mine, let's look at um, uh, groups and, you know, the analysis you see on the right, the bar uh, the redder and the bigger it is, the worse the draw is for the particular team and the greener the better. And we see already Group A, Bodo and Zurich completely hammered. Whereas Arsenal a little bit tougher than expected. PSV are just right there. I mean, they couldn't expect much, much better. Ren slightly happy as is Fenerbahce. Uh, Din Dinamo Kiev probably got a little bit harder. Uh, as expected, Roma and Betis will be happy uh, with the group. And by the way, the groups are sorted by chances of uh, proceeding. So we see Roma slightly ahead of Betis at this very moment. Union, as I said, are favored in their group. And I wouldn't be surprised if they would win, win a group, although they don't play at the Alte Försterei, which is probably um, negative for them. Braga over Union saint gilloise uh, Malmö is definitely not happy with their group there. Um, United Sociedad should make it easily out of there. And then, as I said, Midtjylland will not be happy having Feyenoord and Lazio. And Sturm is also not a, such a, a weak team. Freiburg, really good draw for them. It's between Olympiakos and not for the second spot there. And then Monaco should win that group. Although we have seen that Monaco is not doing very, very well at this moment. Javenas Vesta and Trabzonspor for the second spot, as I indicated before. Another way of looking at it, here are the favorites, how it looked before the draw, where my, uh, the background at the beginning of the video was based on. And now let's change it to after the draw. And we see uh, moving up, and this is now based on the chances of, of winning. Betis, Union Berlin, Freiburg moving up, Feyenoord got a relatively tough draw. PSV especially lost many, many spots. They were uh, on number three, now they are in 10th spot. Playing against Arsenal, you will not win that group. So uh, that's a very, very interesting. Arsenal were also 11% favorite. Now it's only 10%. So, you know, you also see it a little bit there. What is very clear that Arsenal are the favorites in this group, uh, uh, in this competition by rating wise, they were far the best team in there. United, Roma, uh, it's relatively even there, but I would say, uh, up Real Sociedad, it's, you could say, it's also interesting to see that starting on 15, there's Inter popping in, tough Champions League group. There's Benfica popping in, uh, also uh, relative, uh, Na and Napoli also popping in. Those could play a factor in there, and we will see as the Champions League moves on how this will go. So, yeah, so much from the Europa League. Let's move over to the Conference League. The Europa League playoffs delivered high drama and a complete disaster for all Austrian teams who had a really, really bad uh, time. However, uh, we see here the first batch. I'm very happy that Köln actually made, made it. And it's so funny because I used to say, no, German teams should, should not. But actually now getting a little, a little bit into it, I'm very, really happy that Köln made it, winning 3-0 at Fehava. Uh, other outstanding results, um, Basel over CSKA. Yeah, on the, on the first one, we had, of course, again, a penalty shooter, Happel Beersheva, but that was almost expected. I am surprised that Slovats go from the Czech Republic uh, won against IK. That was a, a that clearly Slavia also needing a uh, overtime against Rakov uh, was also not quite expected. Fiorentina grind out the result uh, nil nil at 22 advance. West Ham get their second win of the season three nil over Viborg. Um, 
turnaround for what is Stauer FCSB is Stauer Bucharest. Uh, they lost at home to one, they win in Norway 3 1. However, Norwegians don't despair because Molde make up their own deficit at home. Wolfsburg not up to, 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 to a task. And um, I almost expect it because Wolfsburg at home in Europe is not good. And this season they're just atrocious. Uh, really sad. I mean, all for Anderlecht. Anderlecht is a great team with huge history that belongs in the European group stage. But, you know, uh, due to the fan f French beginning, the young boys and Lask, I really wanted to see young boys uh, advance. But, you know, if you could don't convert three penalties in a row, you don't deserve it. Even if you win away from home. Uh, we knew that there will be one small Balkan team here. It's Balkani from the Kosovo and Hamrun 3-3 against Partizan. Those are the guys that got rid of Levski. Last part, Nice needing overtime against Maccabi Tel Aviv, also one of the more surprising results. Due to launch, don't make it uh, Lech against Lech Poznan. Um, a very long penalty shootout between Slovan and Sorinsky from uh, Mostar. Uh, it went to overtime. Again, with uh, the away goals rules, Rinsky would have uh, prevailed. It's very interesting. The first five for both teams went in and then came the misses. Uh, Bajakshi here beat Antwerp. A little bit of an upset, um, as is that RFS from Latvia made it in. And what I did not realize, the first penalty was converted by uh, Friesenbichler, an Austrian player who played not too long uh, ago for Sturm Graz. He's playing in Latvia. I found this very, very interesting. Uh, it has been a disaster for poor Portugal in the conference because uh, already Guimaraes was out and now um, Gilles Vicente also against uh, AZ Villarreal easing over Hyde Hyde. Hyde Hyde can split. They are already the favorite for, for this competition and the last one is a result that would deserve its own video i was even thinking of making it a little short but i didn't have the time for uh, for it vaduz going to vienna and winning against the rapid vienna um and it was not i mean they should have won the first game i repeat myself and it was not um in any way undeserved that they beat rapid vienna it is a result where I don't know whether I should laugh or I should cry because Rapid would have had a good coefficient. They probably would have been in pot one in the conf conference league. So in that sense, it's very bad for Austria. But just Rapid Vienna, they were, you know, Salzburg about 10 minutes ago lost to Dudelange uh, in the Champions League playoffs. This is worse to me. This is the ninth place team from the second Swiss league. It's just an absolute disgrace and it would deserve its own video. And I have to ha I have, have to have all the troubles because there's a little bit more for a bit. I will probably do this in the video for the Austrian Pop Pop Bones League at the beginning of next week. Need needless to say, I mean, I almost wanted to title this video um, if I would have just made one for the qualifier. No words, but plenty of Schadenfreude. I think this is the best way to describe that. Enough said. Looking now at the pots for for draw, which I also thought is very interesting. I mean, pot four right off of the bat. These are all teams that most people uh, would not really know how to gauge. But you know, pots one, two, three. There are at least a few known teams teams in there. I was surprised that West Ham it would only I was just making it into pot one with Villarreal, of course, with their big exploits in Champions League being in there. It's the first Spanish team in the Conference League, by by the way. Barcelona, AZ, it's, it, I mean, that pot one kind of makes sense if you look at the, his, his, at, at the history. Fiorentina and Kern, definitely the nuclear options in pot two. As probably is Nice in pot three. Uh, Austria, Vienna, only in pot three shows you that, yeah, we cannot expect much of them. Let's see how the draw shaped up. Well, um, Group A here features Fiorentina, uh, Bajakshi here, Hearts, Hearts and RFK. So I think that's an interesting group that Fiorentina will very much like to advance. I think it's also a tricky group for uh, West Ham because Anderlecht might be a tricky one. And we you know the other two probably, probably, probably not so much, but West Ham should uh, move on. Uh, I am, of course, interested in Group C for, you know, patriotic <laughs> exploits, but I don't think that austria Vienna will have a chance even against Hapoel Perseva. We are all cruising through that one. Köln and Nice should be the favorites in Group D, to be honest, but it's not an easy, easy group. Uh, group E, AZ in there, of course, Vaduz, who beat Rapid Vienna. Uh, it's an outsider's group uh, for sure. 
Then group F is kind of a so so group. I actually think Molde and uh, Ghent should uh, make it out, out, out of there. Uh, you know, there's a Swedish Norwegian duel, which is always uh, dicey. Uh, group G is one of those Eastern groups. I think Slavia should be the favorite in there and probably Cluj over Sivaspor and Balkany. And I think everyone in group H will uh, like, like the chances, especially Basel. But I think all the others are also rather happy. I mean, Puny against Jalgiris, that's a Soviet style duel. Slovan in, 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 in their big name might actually make it out of the group. So again, let's look at the actual numbers again with the bars. We see that uh, group A, everyone kind of as expected with Fiorentina definitely being the favorites in the, in, in the group again. Uh, Westheim over Anderlecht and uh, Stauer in group B. As I said, it's a slightly a tougher group. Uh, group C, you see Villarreal kind of doesn't, it's exactly what they will, will expect, but all the others are not so happy, mainly because with Villarreal they have a very tough opponent in there, so it's only for second place. And it's rather tight for that one. Uh, group D, as I said, Kern and Nice uh, should make it. I give slight chance to Partizan, but you know, we have to see how it will pan out. Uh, group E, everyone's slightly happy to be honest, especially at Z, because you know, uh, if you get Vaduz, Limassol and Dnipro, those are all rather uh, easy opponents, so at Z should cruise through that one. Um, Gent and Molde, as I expected, your guards a little bit in there as well. Um, Slavia will most likely win, win this group. They are, I think they are too good uh, overall, but it's beginning to lose. And Sivasporin, as I said, everyone in Group H is super happy. Special Punic uh, Yerevan. Their chances of advancing increased by a whooping 131%. So that gives you a good uh, a gauge. Um, again, we look at the favorites before the draw. You see Villarreal, West Ham, Kern, Slavia, Fiorentina, Fio, 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 your top five. Uh, and then, you know, a few teams, again, Champions League, Fenerbahce, uh, Europa League teams, Fenerbahce and Freib Freiburg in there. If we move it around now, we see Fiorentina and Kern have flip-flopped. Uh, they are, as I said, Fiorentina probably... Uh, really like their draw as a look from Europa League teams. It's now Fenerbahce and PSV, especially in mid uh, You know, all teams that have a rather tough, tough, tough group that suddenly look also, yeah, we could do a run in the Conference League as well. But overall, it will be Villarreal and West Ham. I think those are the two strongest teams. We have to see who falls down from the Europa League, but I wouldn't expect any uh, big name going in there and then we'll see whether Fiorentina, Slavia and Kern can live up to, to a billing and you know maybe Nice has all and Z have also something to say in there. So yeah, uh, that was it from me. Long video with many wardrobe changes and many <laughs> wall changes in a way, but I enjoyed that. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Drop a line below what you thought about the qualifying results. And as I said, I think I will save my thoughts on Rapid's disaster against Vaduz, which is an absolute disaster for Austria. And I didn't emphasize how bad yesterday was for the Austrian teams. I will save this actually for the Austrian Bundesliga review that I've planned for Monday because Rapid has to play Sturm Graz and I expect the spanking there as well. And loads of trouble and all the like. In any case, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.